Microsoft SharePoint Online. Learn about and use SharePoint libraries. I'll begin by saying that there are two types of containers that hold your collaborative documents or information within SharePoint. There are libraries and there are lists. Libraries are where documents are actually stored, right on the server. A list is a lot more like Excel, with rows and columns. I'll start by discussing libraries, and I'll click on the Documents link. Here's a list of some documents that have been added to this library. These documents are in alphabetical order, and I can see when it was modified, who modified it, and even who created it. When I hover over Name, for example, I get a drop-down, and I can sort this ascending or descending. Also, I can simply click on the word Name and toggle back and forth between the two. I can do the same thing with Modified, Modified By, and Created By. Another cool feature is the ability to filter, just like in Excel. I can click on the drop-down and filter by a single person or even multiple people. I can then clear the filter if I'd like, and there aren't that many documents in this library. Not a whole lot of contributors, but when libraries are large, this can allow you to find what you need very quickly and easily. When I'm in the library, you can see the two tabs that I discussed a bit in an earlier video about navigation. If I click on the Files tab, I get access to commands allowing me to work with these files. It could be just one or it could be multiple files. Most of the options are grayed out, so watch what happens when I select a file. I now have more choices because SharePoint now knows that I want to work with that file in some way. I can create new documents or upload them. I can create folders. But I'd just like to mention that although it sounds like a good idea, there may be some better choices, which I'll discuss in a future video. I can edit a document, but I might be required to check it out first. This is another thing that I'll discuss in a future video. Here I can change and edit properties, share it with someone, set alerts, workflows, and so on. When I click on the Library tab, I get the library commands. I can create new views, I can email someone a link to the library, we can connect this library to Outlook or export to Excel. We can edit the library and access library settings. I'll click here just to give you a peek at all the options you have regarding these documents. Things like general settings, permissions and management, communications, columns and views. And that's a bit about SharePoint libraries and SharePoint Online.